the ball is back in the Black Forest Fire Protection District's court. Today, it released a 2,000 page report on the Black Forest Fire. A livid El Paso County Sheriff Terry Makita calls it garbage, says it doesn't provide evidence to back up severe allegations. CARDIO News Channel 13's Jonathan Petromala has both sides tonight. Jonathan. James and Heather, this report was written in response to accusations leveled by the sheriff to KRDO about the handling of the Black Forest fire by the fire chief, Bob Harvey. Today, Sheriff Makita opened his remarks by saying, ironically, it should be burned. It's the latest back and forth about the Black Forest fire. In the 2,000 page report paid for by the Black Forest Fire Protection District, you will find praise for Black Forest Fire Chief Bob Harvey, who was, quote, called to an impossible situation, and that Harvey, quote, provided leadership and guidance to address the fire. But it was the criticisms and accusations that brought Sheriff Terry Makita to respond. This is $50,000 of taxpayer money that is full of inaccuracies. Possibly the most egregious allegation points to a, quote, secret special assignment to protect Sheriff's Office Commander Bob McDonald's home. It notes that a home just to the south was burned while McDonald's home was safe. The report says the firefighters tried to refuse the assignment, but the order, quote, came from the top. The investigator wrote the decision was reckless and irresponsible. Never did Commander McDonald ask any fire resources to be directed toward his residence. Makita did say resources were ordered to the street McDonald's home sits on, just like they were around the entire forest, to protect homes. The sheriff also had an answer as to why the firefighters ended up at the commander's house. Mr. McDonald's home was well mitigated. Firefighters are going to set up where they're safe. They're not going to go into a thick patch of timber. The incident commander himself, Assistant Deputy Fire Marshal Scott Campbell, was also accused of misconduct for conducting a backburn the investigator believed improperly. It also mentions a criminal investigation opened by the sheriff into Campbell's actions. Makita says while it's up to the district attorney's office, the sheriff's office didn't feel anything criminal or negligent occurred. The fact is the way that that burnout was conducted is not represented accurately in this report. Matter of fact, it's an outright, outright disgrace. While the sheriff has repeatedly answered questions about this Black Forest fire investigation, once again, Chief Harvey declined to comment further on this report. At this point, there's nothing that we have to add and that we have not already put into the report. Sheriff Makita says there is plenty more to add, like names and times, to back up the accusations. And I will say every statement in there is a lie until the author and the investigator show evidence and proof of who made that statement. We encourage people to download the report or view it at the station and make them their own decisions. The only thing that this report has done is brought more confusion and misinformation to an already complicated situation. And the sheriff says his office's official investigation into the Black Forest fire should be finished in the next couple of months. Live the newsplex, Jonathan Petromala, KRDO News Channel 13. Jonathan